I didn't see you there. Well, as long as you're there, we might as well do a lesson on playing the three draw in the three draw bends in the blues. Now I have a lesson sort of on this that I made a long time ago, but this is gonna be a more complete lesson. So what we're gonna be doing is using an A harmonica in the key of E, and we're going to be using three draw natural, three draw half step bend, and three draw full bend as our focal point in illustrating the blues changes of a one, four, five chord progression. Let me give you a little example. So here's a microphone by Greg Human. Very nice. So here's a one chord. And then here it goes to four. So I'll use a three draw half step bend there. Draw a double bend on the five. Three draw a half step bend on the four. Back to one. Now bend it on the four. But, and it's gonna have the root notes, the regular root notes, two draw, and four blow, and four draw, but just like that. But then underneath it, you're gonna see the three draw things. So I just played a 12 bar blues just using that three hole draw. So this is something I do with all my students. So if you just hit three draw natural on the one and then three draw half step bend on the four and then three draw full step bend on the five, you're gonna have a really cool way of illustrating the chord changes. chord changes to a blues. Now, you don't have to just hit those, and you, you don't even have to hit that note first. I can hit that note literally anywhere in the progression, okay? Uh, well, anywhere on that chord change. Let me explain it that way. So I could, you know, I could start with it and then play something else. Right? And then bend for four. You know?
So, so all I'm doing is just putting the three draw somewhere in on the one chord, and then the three draw half step bend somewhere in on the four chord. And every other lick can stay the same or can be different, you know? And then just bend it on four, then unbend it again on one. Bend it, double bend it on five. So this is all I'm doing. So it's an idea. The licks are secondary. The licks I put in, you know, it doesn't matter, I could. So I, I don't have to even know how to play if I know what to do that these, these uh, particular notes carry so much depth and weight that anything I play before or after them is, is almost irrelevant from a technical standpoint because by playing these notes somewhere on that chord change, I'm illustrating the change itself by using a harmony of each one of, of the, the, uh, those chords. Like this for a second. Imagine that beats two, three, and four are where you would improvise. So just as a, a way to start with a simple rudimentary academic designed exercise, if I play the harmony on the one, on the, on the, on the beat one, on one, two, three, four, Imagine that beats two, three, and four are where you would improvise. So, harmony, improvise. Harmony, play a lick. Harmony, put in Junior Wells. Harmony, or Little Walter. Harmony on the four, whoever. Harmony, improvise. Harmony on the one. Harmony, put something here. Five, harmony, and something four, harmony and something one, harmony, and improvise forever. So, you know, I played a lot of stuff in there, but like I said before, it could be anything. I can speak in tongues, okay, in between, and it's still gonna sound like blues. It might be weird blues, but what's wrong with that? Welcome back from your pause. I'm glad practice went well. All right, so the next step in this would be putting in like a little approach tone, like coming a half step underneath the target note. And then
So all I'm doing is I'm going to start on the three draw half step bend and go up to the three draw for the one. And then on the four chord, I'm going to start on the double bend and go up to the half step bend for the four. On the five chord, I'm going to start way down on the three draw triple bend and go up to the double bend for the five. Okay, so this is gonna get, I'm gonna turn this amp down a little bit. Okay, and this is gonna give me a wide, wide, wide range of stuff I can do that's very jazzy and very cool. Let's check it out. not something I can't do with root notes either. <clears throat> I could come underneath each root note. So I'm, I'm going to come underneath two draw a half step. I'm going to come underneath four blow a half step and I'm going to come underneath four draw a half step. So this is me using approach tones for root notes and then I'll do it with the harmonies. Here we go. <laughs> I did 
both root notes and harmonies. great music you can make. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Sorry about my harps not working. Which of course they work perfect now. Let's uh I'll take you out with some more of this stuff. There's really not a whole lot to say about it. Play three draw on the one, play it somewhere on the one chord, play three draw bend somewhere on the four chord, play three draw triple bend somewhere on the five chord and you're gonna be okay. You can start with them, you can end with them, you can make them part of another lick. Hey, I'll just make up a lick right now. How about this one? That'll be my lick. And I'll use that lick with this exercise and I'll make a blues song and I'll take you out with it. All right, hope you had fun, thank you very much. Greg Human for the cool mic. It's amazing. It sounds way better than my old JT30 bullet. I'm going straight into this little amp right over there called the Dirty Whore. No effects or anything like that for all for all the haters. All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.